right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It's Friday. I know you know it's Friday. You may have to click on the link because you see the jacket, and the jacket only means it's Fridays. That means say it with me, everyone. Come on, you got to say it with me today. It is Octane Friday, and that's when we kick it up a notch here in the cave, throw something a little heavy, hard hitting rock and roll for you on a friday isn't that a good time for that i mean some of you are seven day a week rockers but i know i know some of you aren't uh but fridays just seems like the right time to do this right and i was talking to paul chabot and he's like hey i thought you were going to do this band uh soon and i was like yeah I, that's right i am uh so anyway uh someone we haven't yet covered here in the cave uh so that's exciting again we're getting close to 900 episodes we're getting close uh, and we haven't covered this band on Octane Friday or any time, to be uh, to be frank with you. So uh, we're talking about the band Winger, but you knew that already because you saw the title of the, the episode. So no surprises there. But Winger, remember Winger? Formed in New York City uh, technically in 1987, but really they first used the name in 1980. Uh, the brothers, the Winger brothers, right? Kip, Nate, and Paul. They have a, they get some kind of live recording from 1980 where they use the name Winger. I, I don't know. But anyway, but they didn't uh, debut anything until uh, they, get, they actually put it together as Winger in 87. Got their debut record out in 88. August of 88. Right smack in the middle of Hair Nation. Right? Like, think about that. That's just like when all this was going on. It was hard to differentiate. I've said that before. I mean, you had to really pay attention, but there was a lot of music coming out. Is it Winger? You know, and this isn't this isn't uh, this isn't a diss at all. But it's like, is it Winger, Slaughter, Skid Row, Poison, Rat, Motley Crue? I mean, you could always tell the difference between some of those. But you know, then there was like Kicks and Britney Fox and uh all these other bands anyway i could go on and on and on blue murder you got anyone remember blue murder uh giant great white i mean they were just it was all they were all over there was a lot you know it was a lot to pay attention to as far as that's concerned but uh, they had their own sound they were like prog met prog hair metal almost some of their stuff i mean uh it's the opening of some of these songs just sounds like yes or i don't know just saying it at first like a little bit of prog not so much yes, but just a little bit of prog. Uh, anyway, if you'll notice in the cover of that debut album, it says Sahara in the lower right-hand co- corner of the cover. That's because that's the name they wanted to use for their band, Sahara, but it was already taken by another band. So they had to call themselves Winger. All the ladies, all the all the ladies in high school, they all loved Kip Winger. They thought he was attractive. Uh, so we all knew that about Winger. Uh, but there it turns out their music was actually good. Uh, that uh, debut went platinum, went to number 21. Uh, spent 63 weeks on the charts in various places. Uh, MTV, of course, loved that stuff. And then 1990, when they were uh, you know, coming off that tour of that record, they put out another record, uh, and it was uh, well, they sold 1.5 million of that one. Uh, they got nominated in 1990 for Best New Metal Band at the American Medical... Uh, American Medical. See, you can tell I'm in the medical f- field. Uh, the American Music Awards... Best new metal band in 1990? They must have been like, dude, we've been around for at least a couple of years here. What's going on? I don't know. Well, they didn't win. Uh, but they went on a 13-month world tour after that second album, 230 dates. I mean, these guys played with those those years. They played with everybody. They played with Slaughter, ZZ Top, Extreme, Kiss, Scorpions, uh, Cinderella, Bad Company. Remember Bad Company in 88? That was, that was good. Anyway, but uh, this was their heyday because by the time they put the third album out... Grunge had already crushed everybody. Grunge was like, it was like, you know, that was that was it for that. But uh, some great music we're going to talk about in a second. Uh, when I was reading a little bit about Kip Winger, he wrote Bang Bang in 1984 for Kicks. Speaking of Kicks, Blow My Fuse, that's the name of that record, right? That's a good one. And in 85, he joined Alice Cooper's band for two albums in a tour. Before he, before he performed as Winger with his brothers, he did that first. That's pretty cool, right? Left that, left Alice Cooper's band and went to New York City and they put this band together. As far as the hits, remember, that was a short-lived for them, but they put out some good stuff there. Madeline, Hungry, 17. What's up with 17? I was going to do a whole episode on songs about being 17, but that's just, I mean, you can. You can, but you can't. 
which you know there's a, we can go down the list of people who did that uh in the 50s it was like uh 16 or 15 i don't know uh, can't, can't, can't get enough miles away. Easy come, easy go, and headed for a heartbreak. You guys know the song of the day. I mean, you probably think I'm picking heading for a heartbreak, probably, because I'm not picking 17, that's for sure. Um, but anyway, that's a good song, though. Anyway. But uh, I listened to these all. I listened to all of them, and I was like, man, this, some, this is kind of tough. But really, for me, when I really got down to it, it was can't get enough. Can't get enough because that's what made me think of doing covering them when I heard that on Hair Nation, and I was like, I haven't covered them yet. So, "Can't Get Enough" by Winger is your song of the day. Finally, get their due here on Octane Friday here in the Rock Cave. Hit me up, Winger. Come on the show. Uh, all right, you're you're cranking that up. Hope your whatever you're doing today involves music. Love me some Octane Friday as we roll into this weekend. I hope you do too. Whatever you're listening to, crank it, crank it, crank it. And as usual. I'll catch you on the flip side. Yeah.